Hi there, it's day 108 today, and we're doing a few more scenes on the deck of the Venture, which you can see behind me here in Studio B. But uh, what we are actually going to do today is a production diary that's based on a lot of requests that we've had from fans. So for Lindsay, Roy, Jeremy, David, Anthony, Andrew, Kathy, Chris, Roxy, Josh, Hilary and Brewer, we're going to do a day in the life of the makeup department. Today I have the Manitou. And the Manitou is when it's a pimple that's so big that it's not just a pimple. There could be a living organism inside growing in a fetus inside my face. So we might need to operate. And then after nine months it pops and the devil comes out. It's the devil's child, the Manitou. Hair and makeup are there for the director. They're there to realize his vision. And we're there to help the actors and actresses portray the parts they're playing. One of the good things about being in hair and makeup is the fact that you get a big trailer like this. The makeup trailer can be a fun place. Oh yeah, everything happens in the makeup bus. Hello. Uh, All roads lead back to the makeup bus. <laughs> we are the first people that get the actors in in the morning. And you know, not everybody gets a great night's sleep. I didn't shave because today I have to have two days growth. So I'm not unprofessional, if that's what you're thinking. Dude doesn't even shave. <laughs> a lot of my job is research, to search for information about a period. And there's no point putting lipstick and eyelashes on if you don't know why you're doing it. I've had the same crappy haircut since August. And, and he not, means that in the and best possible way. And I'm not saying that, that you gave me a bad haircut. <laughs> she gave me a great haircut. It's 1933. My, okay. Exactly, it's 1933. I think I had the same haircut when I was like seven. As far as King Kong goes, we want to sell everything as if it actually happened. The thing we're aiming for all the time is realism. We also keep extensive continuity records, which means that we'll take photographs and take notes so that when we do have to reproduce it, we can do it quite efficiently and very precisely. It's been a while. And we need to shape him. Why not? Andy Serkis shot scenes today that we initially shot before Christmas. So there was a little bit of continuity bringing him back to Lumpy and we had to re-tattoo him and lots of dirt and grime and all those kind of things. So you, no, you'd, you'd have your food cooked by this man, wouldn't you? Sometimes people are, uh, the wounds are healing because it's a couple of weeks after, then reducing the wound or so forth, or the wound then disappears, all that sort of stuff. It's great putting people through torture and pain and making them look silly and so on and so forth. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I use hair and makeup as tools. You know, you arrive at work and, um, in a normal fashion and then and you get into character and you use makeup and hair to, to help you get closer to that. Jack, Jack did a very smart thing and went wig so that he could have his normal Jack hair. It wasn't really a move on my part to get a wig, but it worked out to my advantage because you throw on the wig and it gives me a 1930s hairdo, and then you take it off and look what's under it. Rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, the wigs, I mean, my company makes the wigs because we weren't satisfied with the wigs that were around and trying always to achieve them so that people don't know that they're actually wearing wigs. Half the day, at least half the day, maybe more, is keeping the artist looking exactly the same. Let's say we started at 5 a.m. and we might shoot that one scene for 14 hours. So we have to keep everybody looking exactly the same for 14 hours. What's happened by the time she's sitting in this chair until the time she's on the set, a lot of things can change. And so I always have to go up and check and make sure everything is just perfect. Final checks. Okay, okay jumping out of there, please, gang. I need to get Naomi in there. We're going to shoot. It's all about people's personalities as much as the makeup skills and everything, that everyone gets on well and works well together. See what they do to me. It's such a glamorous business, isn't it? <laughs> you have to have very good chemistry with the people that are doing your hair and makeup because they're the last people to touch you before you roll. And I don't think it would be possible to do it without feeling those good vibes. OK, here we come. Hey, Naomi's on set. We need you. Got to go. Stop Bye. Stop come on. 